Hello and welcome viewers to Healthier YouTube channel. Antibiotics are generally prescribed to treat infections which have been caused by bacteria. Some of the most common infections which are treated with antibiotics are pneumonia, urinary tract infection. These antibiotics work by killing the infection causing bacteria and stops it from growing any further. They work only on bacterial infections and not on infections caused by viruses such as runny nose, cough, cold, flu or a sore throat. As per a study conducted in April 2018, antibiotics are ranked as the number one most commonly prescribed drug with its sales hitting almost $34 billion globally. Clearly, a lot of people are consuming antibiotics but the concern here is are they hurting us more than helping us? In today's video, let us see some of the side effects of consuming antibiotics. Infections are taking longer to heal and cure. Due to the consumption of antibiotics, now people are taking longer to heal from infections which was earlier very easily treated with the help of antibiotics. Infections like UTI and pneumonia are becoming harder to treat nowadays. These bacteria-fighting drugs are becoming less effective due to their overuse in both humans and animals. Asthma and Allergies A study published in 2018 shows a link between the development of allergies and asthma in children who consumed antibiotics between birth and six months of age. Exposure to antibiotics seems to double the risk of asthma in children, while it also promotes the risk of dust and pollen allergies. Diarrhea Diarrhea is also a very common side effect of consuming antibiotics. It can lead to additional difficulties such as electrolyte imbalances and dehydration. Diarrhea can continue even after stopping the antibiotics. This is a very common side effect of taking antibiotic for both children and adults. Fever Fever is also a very common side effect of taking various medications including some of the antibiotics. One of the bad side effects of antibiotic is due to its allergic reaction. Fever may occur. If while taking antibiotics fever come, in common circumstances it should go on its own. But if it does not go in 24 to 48 hours, immediately talk to your doctor. Hallucination or psychotic reaction. In recent times, there is a class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones which are expected to damage mitochondria and can cause nerve damage. The fluoroquinolones is being associated with side effects like brain fog, hallucination, psychotic reactions and even depression. Tooth discoloration. Some of the antibiotics like doxycycline and tetracycline can at times cause permanent tooth staining in children. This normally occurs in children younger than 8 years and the teeth are still developing. If this is noticed, ask your doctor if the antibiotic can be changed. Before we come to the end of this video, let us see alternatives to antibiotics. There are several natural remedies which are incredible antibiotics without any side effects. Some of them are, you can use raw garlic or garlic oil or even garlic supplements. It is known to have antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal abilities. It is one of the best natural remedies to treat an ear infection. Oregano oil. Oregano oil can also be used as an alternative to antibiotics. Oregano oil is a herb with a long history of fighting infections as it contains powerful compounds like thymol and carbocrol which have strong antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. Another great alternative to antibiotics is collodial silver. This collodial silver is often suggested as an alternative therapy for sinus infection and cold. Thank you for watching this video. If you think this video was useful and informative, please like and subscribe my channel. Also feel free to share with your family and friends. You never know who benefits from it. Meet you next time. Until then stay happy and healthy.